How to coil properly? Well, I hate the word reach back. If you have seen my videos, you know why, but I'll tell you anyway. So when you are thinking in your head that, okay, now I need to reach back, you start to think about the off side of your body. So we want to throw that way, but when you think about reaching back, you start to think about that way. There are a lot of problems, biggest of which is that you're getting your weight to the back leg and most often it gets bent because <laughs> you are supporting your whole body weight on it. And when we are in this reach back position, what you can do here is you push yourself over the brace and basically you're not stopping your momentum, which is the key in launching the disc out. So I hate to talk about reaching back. I'll have to do it because everyone else is thinking about reaching back, even if it's not the most accurate word to describe the phenomenon of the coil. coil. So to coil is a lot simpler than you think. And to do that, we really need to ditch the back portion of the word reach back. What do I mean by this? As we coil, we don't want to get on our back leg. We are throwing that way. We want to keep our body mass centered between the legs or a little bit to the front. If you get on the back leg, you just need to push a little bit more to get to the brace and you just need to stop a little bit more to actually keep your torso from falling over. What we need to do to coil properly is to not reach back, but actually reach front and then coil. I tilt it a bit to the front and then let my body turn that way. Because my knees are bent and because my waist is a bit bent, I get quite easily to this position which is enough for me, for me to throw full power. Now the coil is all about getting the hip and the shoulder a little bit separated so that as we push down, we get some momentum here and the shoulders are lagging behind, creating a so-called rubber band effect. If you only think about reaching back, which is the opposite of what I showed you, doing this and then here, you are not actually coiling, but you are leaning back. Or if you're taking a run up and you do that, you're actually backpedaling most often. We need to get a twisting motion here. And we get it easiest by thinking about down and coil. This is the way to coil properly without reaching back or getting to the back leg, which is just bad form and gets you in trouble. Now, I hear a lot of you saying that if you're in this position, aren't you then throwing hyzers? Good question. No, you're not. Basically, all the shots can be done with the same kind of reach back. Of course, there are minor tweaks, but they're pretty minor. When I get to this position, I can still throw from here to high up, here to high up, here, low, flat. Basically, all shot shapes are possible to make from this reach back angle. That holds the turn. It still needs to push forward enough. Look at this shot, Nate. I don't need to tweak this. I need to tweak the follow through and the actual push out or the pull through, whatever you want to call it. So to recap, reach back is not about reaching back to your back leg, but actually about 
reaching front and from there we get our back straight we are not actually reaching back or leaning but we're rotating to get our hips and shoulders loaded and there is the perfect spot for us to whip out thank you for watching and if you felt like good information type me a heart emoji and share this video to your friends who don't have a clue about how to coil properly all right see you later